felters and welcome today we're going to do this super easy gray donkey he's really cute as he is or you could turn him into a ball ball there's some tutorials at the end about the ball balls i do if you wanted to attach a ribbon you need gray black and white and a pipe cleaner let's get started so first off take any wool that you want to use and we're going to just put that on the inside it could be um, a cheap core wool i do a video on core wools if you're a bit confused about them and um, just we're just going to roll it up and turn it into a ball it's about three inches in width it's up to you how big you want your donkey to be but this is um, the rough size I'm doing for mine so I'm using that tri needle there um, I do list any tools and mats down below if you're interested um, so roll it into a ball you don't have to felt it loads but just you just want it to hold together and then I'm taking the colour that I'm going to have for the actual donkey which is a grey carded and I just wrapped it around the outside there it came in a slither and I just spread the slither out a bit so it sort of had better coverage there's always lots of bits in wool so I'm sort of picking out lots of looks like little bits of shavings in this wool um, and then I'm just attaching it roughly with the tri needle before I go on to my uh, this is quite a big needle I've got I think it's a 36 um, and I just go all over the surface and smooth it out because this is going to be visible so there we go all smoothed out that probably took me about 20 minutes to do all of that give it a little roll make sure it's circular now we're going to move on to the legs so take probably about six or seven inches in length and then roll it up and then just start to um, tack it together or felt it together um, and then round off one end the other end you're going to leave a little bit fluffy which really helps with attaching it so firm it up a bit and then round off the end and it's quite easy um, whatever size you take for the first leg just try and take the same for all the other legs so there's one leg done there and just doing the next one there we go next one you don't have to watch me do all of them fortunately there we go so that's all <laughs> I'm having fun today so that's all four legs and then take the fluffy end and put that onto the ball and then start attaching it it doesn't matter too much where you do it on the ball for the first one um, so long as the next one goes beside it and so I do lots of felting downwards into it and that really helps secure it and the join actually looked quite good if your join is showing too much you can use a little bit of extra wool to cover it up but the joins were absolutely fine that's another bit of shavings sorry about that um, and make sure they're nice and firm so head now it's really similar to the legs I just made it a tiny bit longer and I've done this bit and then I uh, tested it by holding it up to the body and it wasn't quite big enough actually I think his head was quite big in the end uh, so you could do your head a little bit smaller than mine so just firm it up hold it up and then I think I made him a bit bigger and then just I do firm it up quite a bit and there we go so it's a nice big head and then we're going to move on to doing the nose because the donkeys have a different coloured nose so I've chosen white you could do a brown donkey with a white nose um, so I've got quite um, it's the same needle I think it's a 36 because you kind of have to draw a line with the white wool as you go round so if you had a very fine needle it um, might snap and then once I've sort of secured it all this is a finer needle just to get all the little bits in I think this is a good 40 40 triangle triangular so there we go smoothed it all up and that's the nose and then with the eyes you just take a little bit of white I sort of wrapped it under itself a bit and then needle felt it in a circle and a tiny bit of black and just pop it I put it slightly to the front you could put it in the middle you could play around with it it might give him a different look if it was pointing backwards a bit and then this is the mouth it's very simple another little bit of wool I attach it at one end I did give it a twizzle beforehand but it wouldn't hold so I attached it at one side and then twizzled it and that worked a bit better I always do too much because I find that's easier if you just trim off what you don't want and then just very gently needle felt it in it's okay if it, if it does indent a tiny bit because that would look like a proper mouth so that's alright but you don't want to lose all the black wool and needle felt it too far in 
So very simple face. And then a tiny little uh, bit of black, roll it in your fingers. That's the nostril on one side, nostril on the other. And make sure he's all level. You can squidge the face a bit. I need to to do it a bit more all over because it was looking quite big. I even thought it was too long in the end, so I squidged it up. Um, and now ears. Now donkeys do have big ears or long ears, shall we say. So take a nice long piece and I doubled it, doubled it over to get um, the thickness and to get the top bit. And I didn't do it exceptionally pointed at the top but you're going to fold them in half and when you fold them in half it sort of can go a little bit pointed so it wasn't too bad. So I just needle felted it through several times. Just had a little feel and to see what it looked like. Make sure you turn it over and over so that it doesn't stick to the mat. And then I took a bit of black and I put it all around the tips of the ears. And it had to go slightly over the edge as well because it looks a bit silly otherwise. So it's not much black at all, just at the tips. And then I put a bit of white in the middle. I wouldn't normally, this mat I've got is grey on one side and white on the other. I'm, normally I'd put white wool on the white, but this I'm just doing the grey so you can see the ear. Because um, otherwise the grey wool sticks to it all but it helps you because you can really see the ear that I'm needle felting. So I put a bit of white in the middle and then just have a little check and that looks like a donkey donkey's ear to so do the other one. And then I fold them in half and needle felt at the base so they sort of stay in half. So they're nice and firm. So when you attach them, they'll stay together. And I also felted them a couple of times through just to make sure they really stayed flat. So I folded them and, and all the way up just did a couple of little felts. There we go, check position and start to attach one. I'd left all that fluffy bit at the bottom, which makes your life so much easier when you attach things. And actually this helps attach to the main part of the body as well. There he is, starting to come together. So all that extra fluffiness underneath, I just attached it. And then I do quite a bit of felting through the head into the body. And it, it wouldn't be strong enough without the scarf. So you get a, a, a thinner piece and you put it all the way around and then you start to felt it through. And then I had to do another one as well to really firm it up. And you'll know, you can just feel with the head whether it feels secure. And it's quite tricky because you have to have him upside down on his ears, everything gets squished. But this will give you a nice firm attachment. Now, carded wool's great, but any marks that are left from, especially when you attach it round like that, take a very thin bit and just put it over the join and that will cover up the join nicely for you. I've got a nice fine needle and it just covers up the neck attachments. There we go. So next we're going to the main and I just took some black carded wool. So it's, you know, whatever wool you've got lying around. And then I needle felted through the middle and just let it sort of rise up. And that's all I did. It was really simple. Through the middle of a little section and then let it rise up. And then I gave it a little trim, just look a bit smarter. You don't have to. And then I did a little bit for the forelock as well. There we go. So a little bit coming between the ears and then a little bit just at the top of the forelock, where the forelock would be on a horse. And then I trimmed it all just to keep it all smart. So next is the tail. Now I found it a lot easier to use a pipe cleaner. So you take some grey and you wrap it and wrap it and wrap it around. And then um, I took a big needle and you just uh, go along it and attach it. You don't have to make it all neat at the moment because it's quite tricky. We'll go in close. When you use the big needle, it goes all the way through and the wool sort of sticks out the other side, but at least it's attached. And then once it's on, I took a fine needle and very gently, more at 45 degrees, I neatened it up and then you do the roll between the hands and that really helps. And then for the end of the tail, take the black, and on the tip of it, needle felt it halfway through a section and then fold that section backwards 
So I'm going all around the base of the tail and then I'm going to fold it backwards and I felted it sort of into a blob. Technical term there, a blob. Um, <laughs> and it looked quite tail-like, so I was quite pleased with that. And a little bit of shavings again. There we go. So we're going to attach the tail. So get a great big, well, fairly big bit of grey. It was a bit tricky. It wouldn't stay in. It fell out. Um, and then do some. you have to do some quite firm needle felting either side of the pipe cleaner to attach it. And it does make it nice and secure once you get going. And then any um, join marks, again, I got a nice big, or a nice thin piece, which was quite large. And I put it all the way over, and then that just smooths out any join marks. And his tail looked really good. I was really, really pleased with his tail. Pipe cleaners just make it so much easier. So we're gonna do a little dorsal stripe down the back. And literally, I just took a thin piece and gradually felted it along. I wasn't sure where it went at the tail, so I just did another piece and split it either side around the tail. It looked a bit silly stopping short. So I, I put another bit and just put it in sort of like a V going down and under. There we go. And last bit, I gave him a little white um, chin and chest and then down under the tummy because I just think it finished him off quite nicely. So I do have um, a video on um, Highland Cow baubles and sheep baubles. You could easily turn this one into a bauble. He'd be so cute hanging on the Christmas tree. It's quite big. You could make a smaller version. And so it doesn't take long, just neaten it up. And I did put it sort of, I think I put a bit more under the tummy further round because they do have quite white stomachs when you look at them on pictures. And there we go, he's done, he's quite easy. You could put black around the base of his feet as well if you wanted to. So he's a really good, easy um, beginner project and you can adapt him to however you want to do him. Uh, if you are a beginner, I have loads of other videos. I have um, a beginner playlist, I have some technical um, playlists if you want to learn a little bit more. I really like my horses, so I'm developing that, but thanks for watching everybody. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Happy felting and see you again soon. Take care.